Imagine for a moment. Think of fine wines and full-bodied beers. Does your mind take you to Falcon Crest and the south of France? To a Bavarian beer garden and the land of sky blue waters? Have we got a surprise for you. Right here in the heartland of America. Right here nestled in the rolling hills of Iowa. The fruits of the vines and the fruits of the fields are bursting with bouquet, flavor, and a kaleidoscope of color. On the way to becoming fine wines and beers in the wineries and breweries of Iowa. On a bend in the Mississippi River. Along Interstate 80. Tucked away in the Amana colonies. At the crossroads of Iowa and among the fields and farms of the Cedar River Valley, these time-honored traditions flourish. As you might expect from America's agricultural leader, the wines represent bountiful harvests. From the 14 wineries around the state, you will of course find domestic red, rosé, and white wines. But you will also find an award-winning cornucopia that includes wines of blueberry, cranberry, red and black raspberry, wild elderberry, rhubarb, dandelion, peach, apple, strawberry, conquer grape, red clover, and specialty wines as well. While the wineries are diverse, some things about them are surprisingly similar. First, they all seem to blend time-honored tradition with modern technology. An Iowa tour would reveal both old oak aging barrels and state-of-the-art glass-lined and stainless steel vats. Secondly, all exhibit a special personality and personal care. Many of the wines represent family recipes handed down from generation to generation, and much of the work is done by hand, like hand bottling and corking and handmade labels. But a visit to Iowa's wineries is even more than old world care and new world spirit. Most of the wineries offer tours, walks through aging cellars, and pleasant and comfortable tasting rooms. Some are just a short walk from some of Iowa's finest and most famous restaurants, many stocking Iowa's domestic wines. Some are housed in century-old homes and buildings preserving Iowa's heritage. Many feature gift shops of cheese and handmade crafts, of woodwork and German steins, of candy and ice cream, of candles and cut glass, of a world of antiques. Visions of Iowa's breweries have been created by movies like Sylvester Stallone's Fist and Take This Job and Shove It, hard-charging river towns brewing for trouble. But only the scenic Mississippi River and the period architecture make the transition from cinema to reality. And these folks are brewing not for trouble, but for good taste. They too offer tasting rooms to the public. Iowa's breweries, Dubuque Star and Millstream Brewing, bring the same sense of old world craftsmanship, personal care and family history from the brewers that the wineries bring from the vintners. Labels like Romberg All Malt, Millstream, Dubuque Star, Schilfbrow, and Romberg Pale proclaim the breweries of Iowa. So if you're an onophile interested in fine domestic wine, or just interested in full-bodied domestic beer, why not visit the wineries and breweries of Iowa? While in the Amanas, visit the Ackerman Winery, the Colony Village, Der Wine Keller, Earl Brothers, The Grapevine, Heritage Wine and Cheese House, Krauss Old Style Colony, Little Amana Winery, The Old Cellar, The Sandstone, The Village, or Millstream Brewing. On the Upper Mississippi, visit Christina Winery in McGregor and Dubuque Star Brewery in Dubuque. While traveling across central Iowa, see the private stock winery in Boone, and in the Cedar River Valley, visit Volbear Cellars of Tipton. So the next time you think of fine wines and full-bodied beer, the next time your mind drifts away to Falcon Crest and the south of France, to the Bavarian beer gardens and the land of sky blue waters, come back to earth. Come back to the good earth. Come back to the fruits of the vines and the fields, to a taste of the heartland. Come back to the wineries and breweries of Iowa.